We want to be able to sketch graphs of any of the functions that were listed on the objectives that we would review from chapter one, including transformations, and then utilize those graphs. So here's an example of that. It's a piecewise graph, and so we need to come up with three pieces for the graph. The first piece for x less than zero, and I recognize this as a parabola that is shifted down three because of the negative three on the end, but I only want to put a circle and take the piece of that that is where x's are less than zero. Now, as I look here, the next piece is when x equals zero, and I need to have that equal negative three. So I'm actually going to fill in the hole there. And then the last piece is e to the x plus one when x is greater than zero. And e to the x, we know a basic e to the x graph crosses the y-axis at one and looks something like that. And so this one is just shifted up one. So I'm going to move up one and make that graph, except I don't put it on the left hand side because I was supposed to be greater than zero. Now I need to make that an open circle because it doesn't tell me equaling right there. Okay, so there is my graph. Now, if I was looking at this graph, are there any places where this graph is not continuous? And the answer is yes, it's not continuous at x equal zero because we can see we have a jump discontinuity and how does it fail the definition of continuity? Well, the definition of continuity says the limit as x approaches zero of this function needs to equal the function at zero. And the problem is the limit doesn't exist because as we approach from the left side, we approach a value of negative three. As we approach from the right hand side, we approach a value of two. So it is not continuous at x equals zero. It's also then not differentiable at x equals zero because if we do not have continuity, we cannot differentiate there.